Hola bonitas, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a review and wear test on a new productito right here. The new Hourglass Veil Hydrating Skin Tint. So I'm very excited to get into this review and wear test, transform this face. A ver como nos va, so if you want to continue watching, then please go ahead and do so. Okay, so I'm very excited to try this out. I did a Sephora same day delivery order and I was like, okay, let's see how this goes. A ver como nos va. So this does retail for $49. That is not cheap. Okay, so this is supposed to be a lightweight skin tint that boosts moisture levels by up to 52% for a dewy glow. Provides a sheer veil of coverage for comfortable all day wear. Light coverage, radiant finish, liquid formula. This is cruelty free, it is vegan. I already went ahead and did my skincare, so now we're gonna go ahead and move on to the skin tint. Uh, I do want to go ahead and prime though. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm actually going to prime on one side and the other side we're just going to leave the skin tint as is. Um, so I'm going to be taking two of my favorites as somebody that does have a very oily skin T-zone. I'm going to go and primer on this side. So I'm first going to start off with my Milk Makeup Primer. I'm also still recovering from being sick. So that's another story. I've been so under the weather. I had a really bad sinus infection and so I'm still recovering from that. So I'm just taking the Milk Primer. I love this primer. It's one of my favorite mattifying primers. I like it because it does a good job absorbing my oils but still giving me like that like soft matte finish without it looking like matte and flat. I feel like some primers that are supposed to be like mattifying or like too mattifying and they make everything separate. This one is not like that. Um, and then I'm gonna be taking the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. I love this for the outer edges of the face because I feel like that's where my makeup comes off the easiest. So I just feel like this allows everything to just grip on much nicer. So we have done our primers and now we're gonna go ahead and take the skin tip. Packaging is really pretty. And here you do get 1.1 ounces of product. Um, I did pick up this in the shade 11 um, and the shade 11 is medium deep with warm undertones. It actually looks much creamer than I thought. I thought it was going to be a little bit more um, runny, like a runny liquidy consistency. I'm first going to start off with the side with no primer. It's definitely a creamy consistency. We're going to be using a sponge on this side. Oh, let's come in close. Okay. Oh, this color is good. Typically I would go for shade 10, which is um, medium with neutral undertones, but this is like the perfect summer shade. I feel like the other one would have been a little too light for me. Yeah, this one's matching me perfectly. I always worry about when I order online, because I did a same day delivery um, order from the app, is that I order the wrong shade so i'm always like reading the description it's always so important to read the description and really know your undertones like in the fall and winter i tend to fall for that neutral undertone um so shade 10 would have been perfect but in the summer i definitely pick up more warm so i like to go for like those warmer tones like whatever is the next shade up from my typical like neutral shade in the winter and fall go the next shade up but like in a warm color that tends to work out well for me. Okay, so this is with one layer with a sponge with no primer. You can definitely see that here, it does look nice and natural. Very, it does offer light coverage, but not too light where you're like, oh, like it didn't cover anything. Cause you can see it definitely minimized the appearance of my redness. Not completely, but like there's still a little bit of peeking through, but we could either go in with just a little bit of concealer to like cover that up or we could go in and add more product because I want to see how this builds up. I definitely will add more product. Um, I will say though, I'm a very big fan of the Hourglass Foundation that launched last year. I think it was like this time last year that it launched. Love that foundation, love that finish. Very luxurious, very beautiful. Um, I really used a lot of that foundation because I really just loved how it looked. So I am looking forward to see how this does. Um, that one was definitely full coverage. It was like glam moment. This is definitely more so for like everyday type of situation. It's definitely building up nicely. I have to say on the cheek, it's building up nicely. And I appreciate that it's not separating on my cheeks because I do have some dry patches 
on my cheeks because I do have rosacea and that texture. That texture can sometimes cling onto certain dry patches and just cause makeup to look makeup-y. And I feel like this isn't doing that. Obviously you can see my texture, but I have texturized skin, so no foundation is gonna make that go away. I like the difference that it makes, definitely giving us a radiant finish. So as somebody that does have oily skin, I definitely will set, and I'll probably set the side where I primed, just to kind of see how it looks versus not going in and priming. It's nice, I'm not mad at it. I also really like this color. I think this color is perfect. So this is the side where we primed and we're going in with a brush. And I'm just taking my A Cosmetics brush and I am reading here that it says this formula melts quickly into skin, which I definitely do feel like it melts quickly into the skin. Also, it is saying that it provides all day comfort, all day wear. So we're gonna test that out, how the wear is on this. Um, and it's also a sheer veil of coverage to diffuse imperfections. So I definitely agree with that. I definitely do feel like it does diffuse imperfections. You guys saw that when I mentioned how it definitely did a good job of minimizing the redness. It didn't completely make it disappear with the coverage, but it definitely minimized it. So you guys can see. I definitely do feel like if you want more coverage, definitely go in with a brush. On this side, it's definitely covering my redness a little bit better probably because we went in with a brush i do like how it's applying with a brush especially if you are somebody that wants to cover a little bit more maybe you do have rosacea like me and are trying to cover more i think that the brush side will definitely work better for you something else i want to point out is that this does oxidize a little bit so just keep that in mind because it does look a little warmer here now that it's sat on the skin for a little bit longer than this side, but I still feel like this is a really good match for me. Definitely do think the primer is making a difference. The thing too that I've realized, the older that I get, the more I honestly, even though I do have oily skin, I prefer hydrating skin tints and just hydrating makeup products because I can always go in and set them as opposed to going in with super full coverage makeup, foundations especially, and then it just looks very like cakey on my face. And I just, I have not been into that. I'd rather like a natural skin tint, even if I have that radiance, but at least I feel like my skin looks like skin and it doesn't look like heavy makeup. So this is what we're looking like now that we've gone in with the skin tint. I have to say, I am noticing a difference with the primers versus with no primers. Um, I would say that if you're somebody that doesn't have imperfections or that many imperfections, or you don't really have enlarged pores, you can just go in with it alone and it'll be good. I just feel like my pores are way more noticeable here with no primer than with primer. Let's see how this goes for the entire day. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm going to finish off my entire face of makeup, then I'll come for my very first impressions, let you guys know how it's working, and then we can start the square test. I think right now, just very, very first impressions, not bad, not bad at all. So. I'll be right back. Okay, bonitas, I am back. Full face of makeup is on, and I decided to go for like a little bit of a pink vibe. It's Barbie premiere week, so I'm prepping for that. I love a good pink moment, it's my favorite color. Super excited for Barbie. Who else is excited for Barbie, the movie? Are you gonna be watching it? Veganme. Uh, but anyways, let's talk about the Hourglass Hydrating Skin Tint. So this is what it looks like. This is the side where we primed. This is the side where we didn't prime. Still, once, Everything is on the face. I feel like you can still see this side looks much more blurred than this side. Um, I do wanna go ahead and set the face. Um, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and do one side just so that I can kind of see how it's going to do um, with setting it the way that I would. So this side is mainly gonna be like more so how I would wear this with my personal favorites, like on a day-to-day -day basis. And this side is just gonna be the product by itself. So that being said, I'm gonna take a press powder Lately, I've been obsessed with the Reina Rebelde press powder. This one is in the shade Almendra. And I'm just gonna be taking a powder puff and we're going to be locking everything into place. Ooh. This skin tint works well with pressed powders. Oh, and I will say I did go ahead and set both under eyes with loose powder, because I have to, because if not, I'll crease. You guys know that. Um, but like, I mean, once you set this with powder, like the difference is there. I do have to say one thing as somebody that does have oily skin that I do appreciate from lightweight skin tints or foundations is the fact that with them, because they're lightweight and they're not so heavy and thick, I feel like everything on top lays really nicely, whether that be cream products or that be powders, I feel like it doesn't look cakey. So for me, 
I'm liking this. And I highly recommend this powder. It's a pressed powder, Reina Rebelde, Latina own brand um, in the shade Almendra. I'll link it down below for you guys so you guys can check it out. But it's honestly very comparable to like Charlotte Tilbury. So this is the one thing that I really do love about how skin tints work with powders when you first apply them because this looks phenomenal. Like the face looks airbrushed compared to this side. So this is typically the routine that I would do as somebody with oily skin um, to like set and also to prep my face. The primer and then the powder makes a huge difference compared to not doing anything. But I know some people want to see how it just does on the skin because they don't like to do primer or perhaps powder. Um, so we're going to test both sides out, but you guys can see the immediate obvious difference. I have to say I really love how the skin tint work with the rest of my products. It is a very lightweight product, so se ve muy bien. Um, so yeah that's kind of where we're at right now i think it looks really good now son a las 9 54 um i'm gonna start my day and i'm gonna do my in natural lighting clip it is a little rainy so i would come on as well with that video clip but then i'll see you guys at the end of the day for my final thoughts and see if this is worth how much did we say this was I think it ended up being like 50 something dollars at $49. So pretty much like $50, $51 once tax is included. So I will see you guys later. Okay, bonitas, here is the in natural lighting clip. It's actually not bad lighting. This is what we look like. So this is the side where we went in with primer and also setting powder. Se ve muy bien, no cakiness. Like it just looks smooth, silky, beautiful. And then this is the side where we didn't go in with primer or with setting powder. So. Definitely you can see my texture more, a little bit of radiance, a little bit of shine, and it feels very lightweight. It's also not really sticky, which I appreciate because I hate when products are sticky. Obviously there's a big difference between priming and setting it versus none, but then again, it's a tinted moisturizer, so we have to keep that in mind. I'm gonna continue wearing this for the rest of the day. We'll see how that goes, because that will really determine if this is good or not. Okay, Bonita, so I'm back right now. It is 7.18 p.m. 7 18 p.m and i'm ready to give you guys my final thoughts on this new hourglass skin tint so this is a 49 dollars skin tint this is how it looks like with no primer with no powder as you guys can see clearly more dewy um and then this is the side where we have primer and we have applied powder so um one more thing and this is probably me getting a little deep but i did have therapy today i was crying so Gotta let out those emotions. Therapy's been so good for me. You guys can kind of see like, kind of like the crying streaks right here. On this side, you can't see them at all. Like, I'm telling you guys, the Milk Primer and the Power Grip Primer by e.l.f. Incredible. I would say if you are looking to try this out, definitely prime and set your makeup, especially if you do have oily skin. If you have like very dry skin and you want a glowy finish, I think you will like it. But probably just with like a long wearing primer, because I definitely do feel like if you don't prime, it easily comes off because it is the skin tint so it's not going to last the whole day um i feel like overall thoughts okay for 49 dollars, that's a lot so if you don't like how this looks do not get it do not get it wouldn't recommend it if you feel like this is like mm, no I, i'm not a primer person or i'm not a something that's going to set with powder i just want the product to work wouldn't recommend I have to say for me personally doing all this like priming it with my favorite primers and setting it with my favorite powder I think it looks pretty good. And here's the reason why I personally am happy with this product. I'll probably continue using it. Somebody with a lot of texture and just liking the more natural look, I've been leaning more towards skin tints, but I need a skin tint that will work with all my products and that will give me really good wear. And I think this skin tint works really great with my primers and my powders and the rest of my favorite products because it still looks like skin. It doesn't look cakey. So I do appreciate that. I feel like it'll work really well if I just use the proper products. If you're planning on just using it by itself, no primer, no setting, the finish isn't as nice and I probably wouldn't recommend it for you. Like if I were to wear it just like this, it wouldn't be worth it for me at all. I do think that's a lot for $49. Like especially with how many great products there are for more affordable, like the Maybelline Super Stay Skin Tint is incredible. Like if you're looking for a good skin tint, this on a budget is the one. So. It just really depends on what you're looking for, but because I already have it, I am going to continue using it because I do like how it looks on here, but if you're eyeing this and want longevity, I wouldn't recommend it. You can let me know down below if you think this will work for you or not. So that's pretty much it. I hope you guys have a fabulous day. Don't forget to stay safe, stay blessed, and stay beautiful. Y las veo luego. Adios, bonita.